In the realm of classic cinema, the Maltese Falcon stands as a timeless testament to the craftsmanship of the industry. What enduring qualities contribute to its status as an everlasting symbol? The answer, perhaps, lies in the riveting narrative and compelling characters that have etched themselves into the annals of film history. As you reflect on this noir masterpiece, you may find yourself drawn to a particular character. Out of the many roles in the film, which one becomes your favorite? The ensemble cast, led by Humphrey Bogart's iconic portrayal of Sam Spade, weaves a web of intrigue and suspense, leaving viewers with a myriad of memorable performances to choose from. Before we delve into the movie's intricacies, consider sharing your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they add another layer to the rich tapestry of appreciation for this noir classic. Now, let's unravel some intriguing facts about the Maltese Falcon. Set against the backdrop of a convoluted search for a priceless Falcon statuette, the film not only defined the genre but also solidified the directorial prowess of John Huston. Its narrative precision, coupled with sharp dialogue, and a palpable sense of mystery has left an indelible mark on film enthusiasts worldwide. From the unmistakable trench coats and fedoras to the smoky ambience of Spade's office, every detail in the Maltese Falcon contributes to its immersive atmosphere. The film's influence extends beyond its initial release, showcasing how a well-crafted noir can transcend time and captivate audiences across generations. What enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? Out of the many roles in this film, which one was your favorite? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, we would love to hear them. In the making of The Maltese Falcon, Walter Houston's walk-on cameo turned into a comedic challenge. Toying with the scene as a joke, he purposefully fumbled his lines, leading his son, director John Houston, to endure multiple retakes. This playful incident added a touch of humor behind the scenes of this iconic film. Humphrey Bogart, who portrayed the lead character Sam Spade, considered his experience in The Maltese Falcon as the pinnacle of his career. He went on record praising the film as practically a masterpiece and expressed pride in his contribution to it. Bogart's admiration for John Huston and the character of Sam Spade was so profound that he spent the rest of his life searching for scripts that could capture the same excitement he felt during the making of the Maltese Falcon. An interesting tidbit surfaces early in the film when Sam Spade walks past a poster for the fictional movie The Girl from Albany. This subtle nod serves as an in-joke aimed at Warner Bros, who initially wanted to use the name The Gent from Frisco instead of The Maltese Falcon. The inclusion of this playful reference adds a layer of insider humor to the production. In retrospect, The Maltese Falcon not only stands as a cinematic classic, but also holds a place in the personal pride of its cast. From Walter Houston's light-hearted on-set antics to Humphrey Bogart's enduring respect for the character and director, the film remains a noteworthy achievement in the history of cinema. In securing Humphrey Bogart for the Maltese Falcon, Warner Bros. lifted his suspension from Bad Men of Missouri. This decision proved pivotal, marking the beginning of a film that would not only become a cinematic classic, but also set the stage for the first collaboration between Sidney Greenstreet and Peter Laura. Little did the studio know that this pairing would go on to create nine more movies together, forming a memorable partnership in the film industry. The Maltese Falcon's enduring impact extends beyond the screen. Notably, a Falcon prop from the original production found its way into Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, resting on a counter as part of Leonardo DiCaprio's collection. This artifact serves as a tangible link between the iconic 1941 film and a modern cinematic tribute. From the lifting of Bogart's suspension to the unexpected partnership of Green Street and Laura, the Maltese Falcons behind the scenes stories add depth to its legacy. This film, with its twists on and off the set, continues to captivate audiences and stands as a testament to the rich history of Hollywood collaborations. Mary Esther's off-screen notoriety played a pivotal role in shaping the cast of the 1941 film. Esther, already entangled in scandalous affairs and a history of multiple marriages, brought a tumultuous personal life to the set. Her past liaisons, including a notorious affair with John Barrymore and a publicized custody battle fueled by a revealing diary, thrust her into the limelight. 
Despite the behind-the-scenes drama, the Maltese Falcon maintained a unique filming approach. Shot mostly sequentially, the film's production unfolded in a manner that reflected its narrative progression. This decision, uncommon in Hollywood at the time, added an organic flow to the storytelling. Behind the camera, director John Huston, fueled by past frustrations, took charge of his screenplay destiny. Vowing to direct his own scripts after seeing his work altered for Juarez, Houston found an ally in producer Henry Blank. This collaboration allowed Houston to preserve creative control, a choice that defined his directorial career. As the film progressed, the intricate web of personal histories and professional decisions converged to create the classic that endures today. Mary Esther's controversial past, the unique sequential shooting approach, and John Huston's determination marked the Maltese Falcon as a cinematic landmark, its legacy echoing through Hollywood's history. In the 1941 film The Maltese Falcon, a term used by Sam Spade, the lead character, stirred controversy. When Spade refers to Wilmer as a gunsel, it sparked assumptions and interpretations by censors. The Yiddish term, gunsel, often misunderstood, was taken as a reference to a gunman or even a veiled implication of homosexuality. However, its true meaning leans more towards depicting a fall guy or a stool pigeon in the underground world. Spade's use of the term hints at Wilmer's role as both a potential scapegoat and an informer, adding complexity to the character dynamics in the film. This subtle linguistic choice provides a glimpse into the intricacies of the script and the era's sensorial concerns. The interpretation of Spade's words sheds light on the depth of character portrayal, hinting at multifaceted intentions and layering within the narrative. This snippet from the film encapsulates the complexity of language and context, adding depth to character dynamics without overtly stating their motives, thus highlighting the film's intricacies beyond the surface. In the making of this classic film, the final scene's heavy dialogue between Humphrey Bogart and Mary Esther stretched over three laborious days of shooting. This pivotal moment, essential to the film's climax, demanded meticulous attention and multiple takes for perfection. Interestingly, despite limited screen time, Gladys George received third billing appearing in only two scenes, and briefly seen in a third, showcasing the intricate billing structure of the movie. Moreover, the excessive on-screen smoking by the main actors sparked a feud between studio head Jack L. Warner and stars Bogart and Peter Laura. Warner's aversion to on-screen smoking clashed with the actor's deliberate attempt to annoy him. Initially smoking heavily in defiance, their prank led to a confrontation with Warner. However, director John Huston defended the smoking as integral to the tense atmosphere the story demanded, ultimately ensuring its inclusion in the film. This behind-the-scenes clash over smoking mirrors the intricate dynamics and attention to detail present in this iconic film, adding depth to the production's history. As the credits roll and the enigmatic tale of intrigue fades into memory, take a moment to ponder the labyrinth of emotions stirred by the Maltese Falcon. This timeless classic, a mosaic of suspense, an enigma woven into every frame, often leaves an indelible mark on those who delve into its shadowy world. Have you found yourself entangled in the intricate web spun by Humphrey Bogart's portrayal of Sam Spade? Or perhaps the allure of the elusive falcon, a symbol of desire and deceit, continues to haunt your thoughts long after the screen goes dark? Reflect on the subtle nuances, the cryptic dialogues, and the mesmerizing performances that render this cinematic gem a masterpiece standing the test of time. Your personal connection to this enigmatic narrative is a tapestry of memories, thoughts, and emotions waiting to be unraveled. So, share your cherished moments, the scenes that linger in your mind, the quotes etched into your consciousness. Your thoughts add depth to the ever-expanding legacy of this cinematic marvel. Thank you for indulging in this cinematic journey and for sharing your reflections. Your insights enrich the collective appreciation for this enduring classic. Until our paths cross again in the realm of cinematic wonder, keep those memories close.